Brain tech, yeah? We tech is made simple. Since the rollout and release of Windows 11 last year in October, Microsoft has started to change and upgrade a lot of the legacy aspects and features of the Windows operating system to take on a more modern look and feel and fluent design to match that of Windows 11. Now, um, as many of you know, uh, in Windows, um, to shut down your computer, you can use the Alt uh, F4 keyboard shortcut combination to bring up the shutdown menu on both Windows 11 and Windows 10, which has the logo at the top, and then you get your different options for switch user, sign out, sleep, hibernate, shutdown, restart, and so on. And this is very similar on both Windows 11 and Windows 10. The only difference being that on Windows 10, we obviously don't get the rounded corners and the fluent design like we have on Windows 11 currently. Now, last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest and brand new uh, Dev Channel build to the Dev Channel Insiders build 25115, where now it looks like they are changing and um, making changes to another legacy aspect of the Windows operating system by now upgrading the uh, UI, the user interface, and changing this uh, user interface uh, in that latest Dev Channel build 25115. And if we just head to a screenshot taken from that build, yeah, we can see the changes. Basically, the only thing they've done is they have removed the logo. Otherwise, everything else looks exactly the same. So um, a small change, but nonetheless, I thought it was interesting as it's just another aspect, um, a legacy aspect that Microsoft now looks like they could change in the future. Um, and actually, it does look a little bit like it used to back in the day on Windows 95, 98, XP, um, and so on. So I don't know, be it a step forward or a step backwards, some say, uh, it does look a little bit more modern and has a cleaner look, but I thought it was interesting and just wanted to show you as now that is a change, as mentioned, that Microsoft has made in build 25115, uh, which rolled out to the uh, Dev Channel Insiders last week. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.